Travels by Broomstick comes to you from South Wales, the land of the dragon. Oh, and sheep. We got lots of sheep. Welcome to all you good people out there in podcast land. So let's get the broomstick out the garage and off we go. A beautiful day spent on a vintage steam locomotive with the amazing views of the Brecon Beacons or Banai Brecheniog in Welsh. But does this railway have its own ghost train and did a Welsh farmer predict the future? Today's journey takes us to the Brecon Mountain Railway at Pant Station, Merthyr Tydfil in South Wales, in the UK. The Brecon Mountain Railway follows part of the route of the original standard gauge Brecon and Merthyr railway line. Built in 1859, the railway line closed in 1964. Travelling from the main station at Pant in one of their beautiful observation carriages on a vintage steam locomotive, the journey takes you into the Brecon Beacons National Park, through Ponstickell and along the full length of the Ponstickell Taff Vechen Reservoir. The stunning scenery surrounding you as you are transported to Torpantai, high in the Brecon Beacons at the summit of the original railway line. Back at the main station at Pant, you can visit the workshop where the steam locos and their carriages are repaired and restored. There are tea rooms and a gift shop where you can purchase all kinds of souvenirs such as t-shirts, teddy bears, mugs, chocolate lollipops and stationery. And we all know how Mrs Broomstick likes a gift shop. I do like a gift shop. I bought a chocolate lollipop. We travelled to the station in Ponstickell where we had some refreshments at the Lakeside Cafe. It was such a beautiful day, perfect for a ride on the railway. The locomotive that we were travelling on was called Number 1 Santa Teresa. She was built by Baldwin of Philadelphia in the United States of America and was purchased by the Brecon Mountain Railway in 2002. Santa Teresa has been completely rebuilt and restored, retaining the original cylinders, mainframe, valve gear and some of the running gear. The Santa Teresa has been converted from a 260 to a 262. The train's boiler, smoke box, cabin wheels, axles rear subframe, rear truck, front pilot and new tender have been built in the workshop at the Brecon Mountain Railway and you can view the workshop when you visit. The Brecon Mountain Railway was founded in the 1970s by Tony Hills, a long time railway enthusiast. In 1977 he purchased five miles of the abandoned Old Brecon and Merthyr rail track bed at Pant. Construction of the Brecon Mountain Railway started in 1978 and it opened in June 1980, using the steam engine named Sybil and one passenger carriage, now no longer in use but still on static display, on site. The 1851 census found Wales to be the world's first industrialised nation, with more people being employed in industry than in agriculture. Merthyr was the biggest town in Wales at this time. It was a thriving town during the Industrial Revolution. Merthyr was the greatest iron-making town in the world. It witnessed the trial run of the world's first steam railway locomotive built by Cornishman Richard Trevithick in 1804. The train travelled from the ironworks at Penadaran to the Glamorganshire Canal on the Merthyr tram road. The railway fought its way through the Brecon Beacons using steep gradients to the summit at Torpantai, which is 1,313 feet above sea level. The Brecon Mountain Railway is just short of the southern entrance of the Torpantai Tunnel, often referred to as the Summit Tunnel, which carried the original railway line of Brecon and Merthyr through the hills. The tunnel was once the highest rail tunnel in the UK's standard gauge rail network. It is known as the Devil's Tunnel, (laughs) as it is 666 yards in length. It is said that the eastern portal of the tunnel is haunted, but sadly this tunnel is no longer in use, having been abandoned after the closure of the original railway line in 1964. There have been reports of a ghost train on the rail line, with people hearing the clattering sounds of a train going speedily over the tracks when there is no train in sight. One woman reported looking out of a Brecon Mountain Railway carriage window on a dark and dreary day, looking out to the views of the Brecon Beacon surrounded by low-lying clouds. 
but when her eyes adjusted, she focused on the reflection of the passengers wearing old-fashioned clothes in her carriage. But when she looked around, they'd completely vanished. In an unusual story from 1864, a Welsh farmer was given the fright of his life by a train travelling along a new rail track. But the rail track hadn't actually been built yet. In a newspaper article, the reporter described it as a ghost train from the future and believed that the farmer had some sort of psychic episode where he could see into the future, saying that the Welsh are said to be endowed with the power of prophecy or second sight. The farmer and his friend had been enjoying a day's fishing along the River Taff. As the evening drew on, the fish stopped biting and the friends decided to go home. The farmer stopped to light his pipe on the way home, and the air seemed full of sound and yet was perfectly silent. He suddenly became conscious of an indescribable sensation. Strange noises began to emanate from the ground. The hill trembled beneath his feet. His pipe dropped from his hands and he was on the point of running away when a long whistling shriek accompanied by the sound of a thousand wheels burst from the hillside close by him. A number of horses in the field close by pricked up their ears and galloped wildly down the hill, jumping right into the river taff where they stood panting and frightened until the strange sound died away in the distance. The farmer hurried home in awe of the wonderful event and under considerable apprehension that some terrible calamity was going to happen to him or his family. It was some time afterwards that the South Wales Railway Line Tunnel was completed, the mouth of which opened at the very spot where the spectral train had manifested. The farmer then witnessed, this time in real life, the train on the tracks, exactly how he did that day when he was walking home from fishing with his friend. It met the description perfectly, even down to the horses galloping into the river. Although we didn't see any spooks at the Brecon Mountain Railway, we did have a really lovely day and it's a great day out for all ages. They even allow well-behaved doggos. So, one question left to ask, how many brooms do you give the Brecon Mountain Railway? Well... I'm going to give the Brecon Mountain Railway five brooms, mainly on the basis it was a good day out and I love a steam engine. And I saw two. And Mrs Broomstick had her gift shop and her chocolate lollipop. And it was good fun. So that concludes our travels for this week. We hope you had a magical time. 